Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be giving a tutorial of how to connect Google Analytics to Etsy, the new Google Analytics, including how to track website search data. I talk about Google Analytics a lot because it's really useful to track your traffic so you can calculate your conversion rate as well as tracking other useful data like your referral sources and how your customers find you. But in October 2020, Google released the newest version of its analytics suite, which is GA4. This is now the default property type, but Etsy still needs that universal analytics tracking code or the old version. So we will see the difference later, but this change has caused some confusion about where you find the UA tracking code you need. So I'll be showing you how to do that in this tutorial. Now I do have a written version of this tutorial on my website, link will be down below. And I also have a lot of other free content on my website if you're interested. So let's get started. Right, so first thing you wanna do is type Google Analytics into Google and this should come up, should be the first result. If you've already signed up for Google Analytics, then you can just go on your uh, homepage, click on admin and then create account and that will take you to the same spot, but let's just do it from scratch here. So this is from a new Google account that I haven't set this up on yet and we're just gonna click start measuring. So every time you wanna track a website or a store on Google Analytics, you have to set up a separate account. That's not a separate Google account, but a separate analytics account. Okay, so for my Google account, I have several Google Analytics accounts and we're gonna be setting up the first one for our Etsy store today. So in the account details under account name, you just wanna put in your Etsy store name. Okay, so that's my demo Etsy account. And for account data sharing settings, it doesn't really matter. You can just leave these unchecked. Um, you can just leave this and then press next. So property details, create a Google Analytics for property to measure your web and app data. So the property name is gonna be all website data. Google Analytics is designed for tracking entire websites. So like Etsy.com, not really for tracking individual stores or user accounts, but you can use it for that purpose. It's gonna type in all website data. It honestly doesn't matter what you put in here as long as you know what you're talking about. So you could put shop data, or something like that. And then make sure you choose the right time zone. For me, that's the UK and then your currency that your store is in. As it says, you can edit all these property details later in admin. Now, the most important part of this setup is to go to show advanced options and then check create a universal analytics property, okay? They've really hidden it here so you can't find it that easily um, and you have to show advanced options now. So once you open this, the website URL is gonna be etsy.com. You wanna keep create a Google Analytics for and a universal analytics property checked. Um, this will create two properties with connected site tags. So you only need to tag your website once, okay? And we're gonna be using the UA tracking code to do that. And the reason you wanna keep both of these is that it's gonna create two data properties. So I believe the plan for Google is to replace the universal analytics property with GA4 eventually. So you want to be creating both in case they get rid of UA entirely. Uh, I don't think that's likely in the near future, but just in case, okay. And then click next. There's just some business information, doesn't really matter. They just want to know a bit more about your business. And then press create. We're going to uh, read through this stuff. Ideally, you should read through it. Um, and then we're going to accept the data processing terms and go. Now we're going to get this page. So let's close this down and we can see all our accounts. So what's happened here is it's created two properties for us. So this is the UA tracking property and then this is the GA property. We don't need to touch the GA property for now. Um, in the future we might need to, but not for the purpose of this tutorial. We're just going to be looking at the UA tracking. Okay, so open the website data. And this is what your homepage looks like. So we haven't connected our Etsy store yet, so we won't see anything here yet. What we need to do first is set up site search tracking. So go to admin down here and you'll see a list of stuff. So go to view settings and these are your details. You can change these if you want, but down here we have site search tracking. Okay, so what this lets you do is select whether or not you want to track your users search queries on your site. And this lets you see what people have searched for in order to see your listing. Okay, so on the Etsy homepage, if I search for say dog shirt, we get all these results. Let's see this one. 
So in the URL from this search, because we searched the term dog shirt to get to this listing, in the URL, they're gonna have a record of our search term. So where you'll find that is if we scroll through it, we see that somewhere here, there is our search term, so dog shirt, and then an equal sign. And what's before that is this, okay, GA underscore search underscore query. And that is the so-called query parameter. So what Google Analytics is gonna do is if we type this into here and then tick strip query parameters out the URL, what Google Analytics is gonna do is anytime somebody searches for something on Etsy and then clicks through to one of our listings, we're gonna be able to see that data, okay? And then also we want site search categories. Um, so that's a similar thing. They fish the uh, category off of the Etsy URL. So here we haven't got a category, so we just searched in all, and then what the category parameter is gonna be is GA underscore search underscore type. So let's put that in there. And then we're also gonna take strip category parameters out the URL. So that is what it's about, okay? And then we're gonna press save. And you should be able to see what customers search to get to your listings now. So if we go under behavior, and then we see site search, uh, we should be able to see search terms once we update uh, and connect our store. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go to admin again, and then we're gonna get this UA tracking code. So you can copy and paste it from here. Command C or Control C. Then we're gonna go to Etsy, go to your shop manager, go to settings, options, and then at the top here, we have bar web analytics, okay? And here we'll need to copy and paste in our UA tracking code the web property ID, and then we're gonna click save. So it should show your shop changes have been saved. And that's it, we're done. So when we want to see some data, like an overview of all the data, it's like a dashboard, we can press home. After 24 to 48 hours, your data should appear here, okay? So here's an example of a page with some data. This is just my website. That's it guys, you've got it successfully installed. Make sure to uh, keep track of it. So just some things to point out. It does take 24 hours to update the data. So don't check it first thing in the morning. You probably won't see any changes. It does include your own activity on the shop. Um, so the number of users will actually be this number minus one and probably a few less sessions as well. I have a link to a document on my website from the Etsy blog, which actually tells you how to read the data for your website. So you can have a look at that as well. And as we can see, somebody is on there. So go check it out like this person here. Give this video a like if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter down in the description and go to ttxbiz.com for more helpful free content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.